Hi, welcome. This video is meant as a uh, addendum to an already existing video. So we have been talking about FNC UI and especially the ribbon components in one of the previous videos. And we got some feedback with regard to those videos because the question was, which wizard do I use in the demo? Because, because some of our customers have several wizards on that page that I used. So let me clear that up for you. So if you go to file new other and then there's the Delphi projects or C++ C++ project, whichever you want to use. So we use Delphi projects, TMS forms. And then we have here the FNC components. And the video that I showed was for the FNC ribbon. However, that doesn't mean that you have to use FNC UI controls in order to do ribbon with TMS. Of course, TMS still offers the TMS component pack, which includes the ribbon component for VCL. So here you have the option to create a TMS Office 2007 ribbon application, a TMS Office 2010 ribbon application, or a TMS Office 2016 ribbon application. Let's do that. Again, I'm being asked if the VCL is supposed to be added to the package, of course. So this is the setup that you get for the TMS component pack. It's still there, it's still being maintained, so don't worry. However, the video that we did was purely to show off that FNC now offers this kind of capabilities. So the video was there to show that the FNC UI controls have a ribbon control now. And the major difference between these controls and the FNC controls is pretty easy. Because the TMS component pack is there for VCL. That means all your applications are either going to be 32-bit Windows applications or 64-bit Windows applications. If you skip to FNC, you will still be able to use these FNC controls in VCL applications. You will still be able to deploy to Windows 32-bit and Windows 64-bit. However, you can use the same component with the same properties, the same events in a FireMonkey or Lazarus application. The component will look exactly the same and during runtime and of course design time, it will look the same. So the learning curve is significantly lower. So going back to this, let me make this point a little bit more clear. Let's create a new TMS FNC ribbon application for FireMonkey. If you compare it to the FNC video we did, it looks exactly the same. We have the same properties, everything is the same. And during runtime, it also looks the same. So if you go into the source code, it's the same classes, the same classes for the components and the same class for the form. And to prove the point, I'm going to create a new other FNC ribbon application for VCL. Oh, I don't want to save this. Yes. And I'm run this. There you go. It looks precisely the same. So it looks the same during design time and switching to the source code. We see that the classes are the same as well. So there's no need to learn any different classes between the different frameworks. The FNC framework completely abstracts from VCL, FireMonkey, or Lazarus. You can concentrate on using great TMS software components. There's no need to think about the fact if you're working in the VCL, FireMonkey, or Lazarus. Just build great applications with great controls. So we hope that this video really cleared up why we focus on FNC right now. FNC really helps you to decrease the amount of time you need to spend with learning new components, with new properties and new events. With FNC, you can use the same component in VCL, FireMonkey and Lazarus and only have to learn it once. The biggest advantage, of course, is that if you have a team of developers, that the team of developers can switch between frameworks because the components are the same. That means the developer who is used to building VCL applications can pretty easily build FireMonkey applications using FNC because the components have the same properties, the same events, no difference there. So thank you for your interest in this extended video for the FNC ribbon controls. See you again soon.